Speed session. Okay, Cody. Um, so we we worked on this contract. We're ready to go. Um, uh, we just need your guys' signatures. As far as uh, things to go along with the contract, um, we. I guess I'll start with myself since I'm elected personnel. I'm going to be asking for uh, a raise to my salary to administrate this at $800 a month. Um, we're having to sign in dissolving the PD and bringing it in. We're going to be signing a lot of contracts and stuff here in the next two weeks, getting things done like with Axon uh, where we rent those body cameras and stuff. We're going to have to change that over to us, sign a new contract. So you'll see new contracts come in, um, things like that. But the, most of it will not be an added expense. You know, like we already have a contract for the five. Now we're just adding six. Six. You know, so things like that. Were, but to, to in order to do that, we have to dissolve because they were doing the same thing. They were leasing their tasers through Axon as well. So we got to cancel that, get moved over to us. So you'll be seeing some stuff like that coming in. Um, but... I planned on it and I put it in the the thing. Um, we got some details to work out because we'll be getting their equipment, um, be getting their vehicles, so we'll have to get the title switched into uh, the clerk so he can hold the titles for them. And and you've already like made that. the determination what you're going to take mm -hmm. and what you're going to not take. Yes. So, um, but uh, and we're we're basically taking um, all their their police equipment and that's why if you look at that contract price. I amortize that over three years, the life and expectancy of that equipment. And then after three years, if we are continuing doing the contract, we're obviously going to have to replace all that contract or a lot of that equipment and the contract price goes up because now we're not taking in their old equipment, we're having to purchase new. So there is a significant change after three years and that's what what that is. Okay. So um, so and the city council understands that and how that works. So just as anything with the startup, you know, the, the first the first month or so you guys are gonna notice some some stuff and and it's just part of the startup cost of getting things done. But we are we are getting a lot of their equipment that we're gonna put to use. So Okay. Yeah. So. How many vehicles did they have? They had three that were in service. We're not taking all three, we don't need all three. So so you guys gonna sell those or what's left? Which the blue charger. The blue charger, and then there's the expedition which Cody's kind of I kind sparks of some interest in just because repurpose of, it. But well, you can't get around town and those chargers are during the snow. Yeah, and that's what true. they used it for, so I'll probably continue using it the same way. It's older, it's like 10, 12 years old. It's not it's not, it's, it's not much. So um, I know you had a Crown Vic or two, but I don't. Yeah, I, I, I just want the good, serviceable charger and probably the Expedition, and that's it. Uh, I don't need two chargers, so they can sell it, do whatever they want. I'm not taking it. It wasn't figured into the price on the contract. So. I don't think the Expedition was, but that's something we can yeah. hash out. Just make sure that. Insurance companies are notified. Yeah, we're okay. going to have a lot of, like I said, when we come back after the first, we're going to have a lot of work to do on this to get this set up. We've already been working with the state on the ORI side of things and, and stuff like that. So, so are they going to retain an ORI? Just we're going to pass it anyway, aren't we? No. Yes, sir. And we're going to have to do some stuff with C-Post. But so. their court will. What's that? Their court will. Their court will still have an ORI, but the police department won't. Okay, I need a motion to uh, approve the law enforcement contract, the cooperative law enforcement agreement between the city of St. Francis and Cheyenne County. I'll make a motion to approve that contract between St. Francis and the county. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign? Aye. Oops. Hey, can't, <laughs> can't, can't do it twice. <laughs> so... The, the big thing I ask from you guys is communication. Like I said, we have that six-month period where we review it. If you guys see something coming and you see something or hear something, you know, something that's not working, communicate with me so that we can communicate it at that six-month juncture and, and try to fix it so that we could have a good relationship and, and have a good contract. So, so.
So well, and that's also extended to your side. If you see problems arise, make sure you let us know before. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right. So you need to you made a request for an increase in pay. Oh yeah. yeah. All opposed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Roger. <laughs> Wait, I just got the C down. Maybe I ought to wait. Okay, need a motion to go ahead and approve uh, the wage increase for Cody for the extra duties and responsibilities for uh, covering the city of St. Francis. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. What the other? The other? What's that? Well, do you guys, since he's not elected, do you do that in here? Or well, I, I think you you do a new wage agreement, yeah, wage bring it down, and we'll approve it at okay. that time. Okay. That's what I, I just want to make sure. Okay. I appreciate it, guys. All right. Hopefully thanks, Cody, for all the hard work you put in on this project, and Amanda. And I don't know you, do I? Uh, Jason Schultz? I hope I never meet you. Just part time. <laughs> Sometimes I have a tail light out, and you, I'm on my way to fix it if you see me. <laughs> well, I know Jason. I've known Jason for a long time. So. Terry and I worked together back in the day. So. I'll vouch for him. He's I knew Terry before he had a beard. So. <laughs> yeah, and I knew him before he had one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you. You can have a good crew out tonight. Yeah. Good, because I'm staying. I'll home. stay home. You circle in your house. Uh, you can circle all you want, buddy. Lights go out about nine thirty. <laughs> okay. And stop at the stop sign. This was the one from <laughs> last meeting uh, that we took okay. for the fifteen hundred for that. So water. we've already. You've already made a motion and approved yeah. it. I just didn't have the paperwork to do that. And that's the one for today. Yeah, we approved those already. One was last meeting and then the other is one. Thank you. Yep, thank you. All right. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I've got a couple things. Um, you wanted me to reach out about this massa or whatever it is, wearing. Fair and Brock. Yeah. And, um, I reached out to Julie Armour and then I also put it on my clerks list serve. There are several counties that offer it. A lot of it's just done out of payroll deductions, you know, they don't. Uh, Norton County, Robert Wyatt said that they've, they've had a couple of people use it and it's been good. Um, a lot of people have just started using it. And, uh, uh, Thomas County clerk told me to contact uh, Thomas County's EMS director because he'd done quite a bit of research into it. But it was for his dad and it was the upper, you know, it's not offered. They can't, just an individual can't get what the county is. So it's, it's a lot more. He thought it was good and everything when he's checked it out. But And then Julie emailed me back and she said that it is a secondary insurance she said, I've read the contract, and the maximum stated in their policy that will be paid is $20,000. So if there's any balance over this amount, the member could still be responsible. Well, that doesn't help much because there's mean, no such thing as a $20 So your insurance fine. is going to pay so much. This is going to pay 20000 more. If it's beyond that, then they're still going to wind up. I guess I'm still grappling with how this is better than what we have now. Oh, well, we're providing the only th two pe or two companies now. Right, we have LifeSave. So, and so the odds of not one of them 
been able to respond. Yeah. Life saves the second one, isn't it? I mean, air med and life save is what air med's the first one that they call, isn't it? I think those are the two main ones that come in here. Or evil med is that the same thing? Yeah. Well, isn't there six companies encompassed inside that air med? I believe so. They've kind of consolidated. I think so too. The only thing I know is there's a pediatric one that comes out of Greeley sometimes, and that that wouldn't be covered, but. The thing that one time I didn't get covered. But we didn't have the yeah, other. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. When you said six companies, I don't. Well, Who's Eagle Med, and I think they, they combined some and, and called it Air Med or. Yeah, there was, was, if I remember Air right, there were six companies, and they were spread out pretty much in the Midwest. There was a couple in Texas yeah. and north of us that all share. Services, but I, I, I don't know, guys. I, I think oh, what I, we, have, I think we're good enough. I think what we have is just stay with what we I, have. That's the way I see it. Unless we just want to tell the employees about it, and if they want to cover it on their own, like you said, but that's just work for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think for the time being, let's just stay with what we have. Willie, do you have any? I, I'm good with that. Because what we have is pretty nice. I mean, we pay 100% of this for the employee, and based on <laughs> our needs in our hospital, uh, I think it's a good plan. Now, it may not be so good if our employee is in Florida on vacation or something, but yeah, I mean, there again, that could be negotiated with flight services at a later date, but I. I don't see a great need to change. Any input down there? No. The bottom line is just don't get flown out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even drop him off at a hospital, much less fly him out. <laughs> <clears throat> And then last is the hospital board member. Yeah, I think um, kind of. We only received one. And then with the holidays, in the short time, we were notified that we needed to do this. So it's up to you guys. What you want yeah, to do. not that we had anything. And I don't know who you're, well, I guess I do. But it doesn't really matter who the one was because, again, we need to extend the time, see if we get some more interest in it and generate you want to go another two weeks in the newspaper? Yeah. And see what we're at in the January 15th meeting. Okay, let's table it till then. I'm kind of disappointed we only have one applicant. That's... But it could be because of the holidays. Sure. Everyone is so sure. busy right now. We just need to make sure we need to get the word out there. If you do have interest in in the hospital and the community, uh, this would be a good place to serve. And that meets once a month, right? Yes. And the qualifications are in the paper there too? I think so. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen yet it's, personally. Do they just have to fill out an application form they can get from my office? All right, we have any other business today? Motion to adjourn then. All right. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Well, we missed you this year at Christmas, Roger. It was